news right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another episode of not this week, but this year, this New Year's. We are saying goodbye to 2023 with a bunch of my good friends, people that I have just, uh, well, they tolerate me. So they're automatically like really high on my uh, my friend uh, chart that I have. You know, I don't, there's not that many. There's not that many, but they're included. You are included. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Before we get started, I want to talk about the poll question. There's always a poll question because that's what I do on my channel. So here's the question. Very simple tonight. I want you to, everybody chime in. I want to know, let your voice be heard. The question is simply this, shilling ain't easy. So what's easier? You have four options. Tying your shoe, uh, whistling, which could be harder than it sounds, playing the quiet game or learning pig Latin. That's right. Shilling ain't easy. So what's easier? Tying your shoe, whistling, playing the quiet game or learning pig Latin. Let me know. I really want to know exactly what you think about this highly controversial topic, something I can't even possibly wrap my brain around. So I'm going to need some help. And uh, this, that help's going to come in the form of the console kits himself. Justin, how the hell are you? Great to see you, sir. How are you? What is going on, guys? I was actually on both streams at the same time, but Mike <laughs> hit the end button right as you introduced me. I thought it was going to be really hard, like listening to both, but we are at part two right we're at part two of this mega live stream which is funny because when i ended one up weekly a lot of people don't know the reason why we end up one up weekly one of the reasons is i wanted to do mega live streams and there was one person in the community that was not interested in doing mega live streams but this is the like third or fourth time we've done these massive marathons and i thought that was really great that the community of content creators embrace this idea of just splattering YouTube with live stream content. And I'm so glad that you joined the joined the ranks with us, 19K Fox. And I have to say, Mr. 19K Fox, you're doing quite well. When you started live streaming, I was dominating Sunday. And now Absolutely. you, my friend, are the Sunday dominator. So I am, congratulations. I am simply filling the void, the vacuum that you Billy. left in your wake. Right. <laughs> your presence is missed. And they'll just basically latch on to whoever. And I'm just a poor man's console kids. But it's great to have you here, buddy. I'm excited about this live stream, this wrapping up. I think this was an idea. And Justin, we came up with this idea kind of just off the cuff. We were on a conversation, you, me, all the other goofballs in our chat talking about, hey, what if, wouldn't it be a cool idea if we just kind of, and then some of us actually forgot about it. And then you and B like reminded us this morning, like, are hey, we, are we doing do this? this? And the and answer was, um, I was drunk last night. <laughs> that's, I didn't that's, know you guys were true. serious. That's what no, a few people true. said. That's what you said and P-Dub said. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know you guys were drunk. We were on a call for hours. I didn't see you guys drinking. <laughs> it, it, well, it happens. Yeah, it happens. At our advanced age, Justin, it, it, it is what it is. You know, what well, we with your weight, your, your uh, body, bat, body mass index, I bet yes. you take half a drink and you're already drunk the percentages yeah are, what you don't awful. know is at the end of 19k fox show when he goes look at that you know when it's empty yeah it's actually meaning i'm wasted so i need to end the show <laughs> oh i will say something i know i'm gonna regret later it's gonna be bad it's gonna be really bad lots of great people in the chat I just want to kind of highlight your comments as you're coming in uh it's, it's just awesome to kind of have you guys hanging out with us you know uh and and putting up with us and maybe i don't know i hope that it's kind of a cool thing maybe if you didn't have plans a lot of us didn't have a lot of plans you know and and some of us don't even maybe stay up till midnight and it's uh cool that you're gonna hang out with us and listen to us kind of be silly I, for a little I bit plan on eating afterwards and then turning into mm -hmm. a gremlin oh uh, that's you know you can't do that specifically some people would say i'm already to... a glim gremlin so well you're for no 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 no, no. you get you get now if you had the stripe on your head yeah we would okay. be worried but i think it, even gremlin. if you were no if even if you were a gremlin i think you'd be fine I think you would be fine. You would yeah. Be so, what is the purpose of the show? We're just here to have fun, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's. I think that's you the, got topics. Is that right? You planned out an entire. I podcast. Uh, well, I, I strategically, methodically plan most of my live streams. I will say that tonight is not going to fall within that category, uh, and it's really going to need to be propped up by good people like Justin and also the Mrs. Kong's R Us. The Chun Li is in the building. It I could is. not be, I could not be any more grateful 
for what is happening right now. How the hell are you? Good. Okay. Apparently, Kong's Rest went to go potty, so I'm here. He, need, he needed a break. Oh. And what's up with the cat sitting on the the pinball machines? Does the cat like the pinball machines? She's like my little M. Bison. Just follows me where I go. <laughs> oh, that's you got to be, be you got to be on guard, Chun Li. Okay, M. Bison cannot be trusted. How are you doing this evening? The cost that was crazy. We just saw you. It seemed like minutes ago. None of this was going on. What? What? What is this? What? What are you doing? What? Are just you ready for battle? Out. Yes, I am. I'm going to be battling up until new. What day is it today? New Year's. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> has it been a long day what of fighting doing? evil? It has. Well, a little bit of fighting evil. I just mm -hmm. got out of donating um, platelets and plasma. Awesome. So excuse me if I'm a little slow. No. Fluid oh, it's totally the platelets that are making you slow, right? It's, not, it's not the third glass of wine that you. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to think about it like that way. I know it's it's very honorable that you donated plasma. That's great. But what I would rather prefer to think of it as, you were taking part in genetic splicing, and now we're going to have this this master race of Chun Li's out there, just like going to be dispensing justice. That's what's going on. That's what's really going on right now. You never know. Wow, I do want to say. Lot. I thought you went to go potty. Apparently, he went to get snacks. We're going to be here for oh. four hours. I went to get like a ton of snacks. Snacks. So. Damn right. Idea. This is what we need to do. Exactly. So earlier, we were talking about reflections of the year. And I want to I want to take back what I said earlier. One of the well, let's just put this as like one of the top things. That day at Disneyland in the evening, us hanging out. That was so great. I agree. It was fun. Yeah. Wait, I got lost. No, Mike B was saying that Justin was a bad guy. No, this guy took us to Disneyland. That's how great of a guy this well, is. I was Justin talking about like person. enjoying Disneyland through the eyes of your two children. They're of the age that they were, and and they had gone there Disney. So they had gone to Disneyland, you know, pretty often because you guys live near there. But then I don't live near, and it's been twenty years since I'd been there. So. I go there and then they are like, Justin, you got to try this. Justin, we got to go on this ride. And ha, ah, it was just Uncle Justin. Uncle yeah. Justin. It was a good time. It's well. Good time. That's pretty cool. That's right. No, it was fun. That was a really good highlight, too. I mean, I spent a lot of vacation time with Justin this year. I think that I can say that's one of the unique things that I've done. Yeah, I've vacationed more with Justin than many of my longtime friends. So, and me. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I had traveled to more locations than I did with her. <laughs> Wait, was it three? Three? Yeah, we did CES, uh, then Comic Con, and then Chicago or Cleveland. Cleveland, and I did yeah. All of those without her. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's going to be we're doing it be, again, actually, starting in 2024. It's going to be us. I was, I was about to say, it's going to be us three, us three at yeah. CES this year. We're going to be bunking in a room with uh, two beds. So, you know, two of us are going to have to snuggle. And you're gonna maybe we're just going to build a layer. pillow fort. Yeah. I think we're going to do a fox sandwich is like what we're going to do. I'm oh, bringing you know, a sleeping bag. Push the two beds together and oh, then oh, oh, oh. no one will be the wiser. Oh, do you know what we should do is like recreate like 90s <laughs> sleepover. I saw this picture meme of like this is what sleepovers in the 90s look like. And it was yeah. like everybody uh, with the Nintendo in the background and – um. <laughs> Like, oh, I guess maybe 80s is more your jam. I don't know where you guys fall, but 90s was like my my teen years. You're taking too long. It's not yeah. a punk. Anyway, wow. it'll be fun. That Let's was like the knocker that on the ball. That was awesome. Ball. Over. Yeah? <laughs> so we could do that. We could have like a snack bowl and then like have some kind of PlayStation or some kind of game system yeah. in the background. I'm bringing my mobile setup with multiple monitors. It's going to be awesome. Wow. It's yeah. going to be cool. Yes. I, I have a regret. I have a regret for 2023. Mm -hmm. Really, regret for 2023. Went to Disneyland, and uh, let me let me show you real quick, uh, if I if I can. Um, which one? That is asked for you to have land parties. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's do a land party. I can't believe Fox just said he's going to bring his monitors. Did y'all just nerd it up at the nerd convention? Mm -hmm. You damn straight. Yep. Uh, just hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Let me know when I can share it. Uh, I'll take a second. Continue talking. Well, I I want to I want to you know talk about that. I want to. I'm really excited about us getting together and going to CES. I have never, unfortunately, I didn't get to go to E3, ever. You know, and and that was really sad because now that's over. So CES, I guess, is like the last bastion of tech 
convention tech nerddom that's going to be that's out there that's existing. So I'm really excited about it. Um, hanging out with you guys is going to be fun. Uh, staying in the same room, I am bringing a uh, a sleeping bag. But that, listen, we can all snuggle. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I, it's we're all grown ass men. It's just no problem. <laughs> it's a it's, it's, uh, uh, you want to go and share this now, Justin? Hold on. So let me okay, let right. me set it up. So <laughs> I have like. When we went on this trip to Disneyland, I have two reg two regrets associated with it. Uh, one, I didn't take enough pictures because what I'm about to show is the only picture I have that has the Kong family in it that was taken really? on my phone. Okay. And the reason why this picture was taken was because I can't remember. Is it Mrs. Kong's? Like, I can't remember which one's you and which one's your mom. Like, which one am I supposed to Miss say? Riz. Mrs. Kong's arrest is her. Mrs. Kong's yeah, mom. Not, me, yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Kong's, Kong's arrest. Okay, so Mrs. Kong's arrest. I didn't want to say her first name because she'll get mad if I do that. We're not, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so Mrs. Kong's arrest notices that we're about to go on a ride and I'm on my phone and I'm not in the moment. I'm not in the moment. She gets upset with me. She grabs my phone takes my phone from me which i i guess i i don't know what's going on so i let her take my phone she opens the camera and she takes this picture oh yeah <laughs> so, so sweet my regret is the only picture i have of hanging out with kongs or us is a picture that Kong t Mrs. Kong's or us took with my phone of us to sh to be like be in the moment for a second, Justin. And um, yeah, that was. Why are you on your phone during Jungle Cruise? I don't know. What I think I was texting my wife. Maybe I don't know. Did you say sexting? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe on on the on the cruise. That's what we all. Awesome. She found it really odd that then <laughs> the next moment is that she got a picture of you and me. So that was weird. Justin, can you put that picture back up for a second? I have no control. Fox, can you put it back up? It, it seems like it's incredibly hot there. Why are you wearing a sweater under your t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was very hot, and you can see that I'm sweating. <laughs> yes, I I was eyebrows are very. Point very much sweating yeah it's not honestly, a very good picture of me but it's a fine picture we were we were going friend. over jargon words earlier is on fleek still a thing or am i showing oh, my absolutely age if if anybody knows anything about uh uh what's in or hip as the kids say that would be me on fleek is totally relevant <laughs> your eyebrows were on fleek mrs my plan, so uh -huh. I, i'm kind of rebellious when it comes to a beard i'm not doing the thing where i i'm supposed i'm supposed to trim Just it take, right no all the way. My goal. All the way. I'm just going to get it to connect. To join, to connect <laughs> I, I typically trim hair. right here. Yeah. I trim, but I decided I'm not going to trim. I'm just going to get it to connect. No, I think I think you do that. You just make them, yeah, grow all that. Just I was talking cool. to my yeah. sister-in-law, and I said. That points down, too. Yeah. She was like, you really need to trim under here. And I'm like, it won't matter because I'm going for a full. You want me to try to do that? You think anyway. I can try to grow a full man? B can't grow a beard. Nope. B, you should give it a shot. You should try. Yeah, and see the little specks. Yeah, yeah, that would be would cool. That give me some credit around this group, right? I think so. You you bring that, and then you just a little ma like you could fill that in with like mascara or something. Like, oh, I know how to do that. Oh see? yeah, he's excited. <laughs> he's got one of those mascara beards. <laughs> I know. That would be incredible. Like, on your face, and I was trying to be like P Dubs. I mean, that yeah. would be awesome. That would be incredible. That would almost be as incredible as a super chat. This one comes to us from Zohar V499. Thank you so much for your, pin, your $5 super chat. Happy New Year, Fox and Friends. Again, your fourth day Christmas show gets my vote for the best show of 2023. Thank you so much for that super chat, for that compliment. And unfortunately, you know where you got to go, Zohar. It's to the pit. Finish him. So uh, that was the wrong that. video for Zohar. You should have played a countdown timer. Oh, <laughs> he loves those. Loves I know. I, I well, maybe next time. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Don't clip that, Zohar. You clip whatever you damn well please. If you want more videos, I'm a clip man, gatekeeper. I have a lot of you and Zohar hanging out. That that does exist. Oh, oh.
so I have 90 pictures of Zohar, but I also promised him I would never show another soul those pictures. Ah, Some things are so, just private. Yeah. That's why I took a minute because I had to zoom in on me and because then you would see the ribbon of Zohar pictures underneath. And that's not allowed. And when someone tells me to do something, I follow it. Not hey, me. Kinda. See? Yeah. It, yeah. Please never show, Justin. Thank you. <laughs> Picking the law, picking. Oh, the but law. I'm never deleting them. Not that I'll ever show them in the future, but they're mine to enjoy. So, uh, guys, I'm pretty jealous of your trip to Vegas. I, I, I miss you guys. Uh, I hope you have Mike, a bunch come of. Come on, fun. buddy, just go, go make it happen. happen. It, my my wife my wife has a big trial coming up. Uh, like I really really right. fought. I tried to work on it. Flights were really good. I wanted to go, but uh, she just needs help with the kids. And like trial prep is nuts for like a two week trial. Bring the like, children she's... with you. There's no better yeah, environment. That's... For children than Vegas. Idea. It's just it's good. A tool's here. A tool yeah. didn't come to hey, my stream. I wish you happy birthday the other day, you son uh, of a bitch. A tool is a wonderful <laughs> human being and one he of is. my best friends. He drove us around everywhere in Chicago. Yeah. It was so great. Yep. I I got to hang out with him back in November. It was uh a tool, myself, Rostalgia, and Conti Dinda. And uh we got to go around, we had a really nice dinner. I gave a tool a mug from the spaghetti factory. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Are you Who still gonna join us? I, I know, I know what I... we do in Vegas because uh, Fox is bringing like five monitors and we're gonna be streaming just, like just the two. The I mean, I'm gonna bring the two, but we'll have oh, B, B, in Vegas. B right. is the worst. Like, his wife tells Justin to live in the moment, everybody else is living in the moment. B is actually streaming. <laughs> like, at He's one point, everything. at one point, Shiloh during our dinner said, Does he ever turn that fucking camera off? <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Making it pinball money, baby. Moment. If all everybody else is in the moment, somebody has to talk you. You know what the, the funny moment. part is? We can be at like a family vacation. And he pulls out his phone, he starts recording, and he goes into Kong's or Us mode. And I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> and he's like, this is B roll. And I was like, yeah, it belongs in your B phone roll. That's okay. We don't need to see it. So, I, no, I, it you know what? Turns off. He, I, I think I do. I do the same thing too. I slip into the same thing. So it's he's guilty of the same sin that I am. It's 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 one of those things. You kind of get in that mode, yeah. So you walk around with your turkey, going, "Look at this! It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. I fried it my very own self. Look at it. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. So no, I mean, I wish everybody could come to CES. That'd be that'd be fun. Game Room Guru has a really nice comment for you there, Fox. It's time for you to do your signature transition. I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's a $10 super chat from Game Room Guru. Thank you so much for your $9.99 super chat sent to us from your Apple device. Happy New Year. Do y'all treat your channels as a hobby or as a business for tax purposes? I'm considering an Arcade 1-Up dedicated channel. Do you think there is still... Room to grow a new channel. Thank you so much for your $10 super chat. It was very nice, much appreciated. I always thank you for being here, buddy. Always supporting the channel. Got to give you a little bit of something special here. You go. I think it's a good question for everybody here. I'll start. I don't make that much money. We did our taxes last year and I don't make enough money to, to meet the, I think minimum requirements. So I just sort of write off what I make. Google does send you a thing that says, Hey, this is how much you made. And you're supposed to do that when you file your taxes. So maybe for those of us that make more money, uh, I guess maybe it would make sense. Uh, but, but the tax rules and laws are going to be different, different country. We have a Canadian here that can speak to that. But, uh, I think until you make a certain dollar amount, just treat it like a hobby. And I think for your own personal sanity, if you just treat it like a hobby, you'll have much more fun. You won't feel the pressure and, uh, and you'll be better off for it. But guys, what do you think? Uh, just really quickly, I want to jump in. Brooklyn Menace has a great comment there. It, there's always room, man. It's yeah. called YouTube. And 100%, there's room for everybody. Everybody can do it. I know we try to gate people and uh, gatekeep people and stop them from working. But there is room for everybody. Make what you want to make. In terms of it being a business, uh, I will tell you it's the most unsuccessful business in the entire world. <laughs> I've recorded record loss year over year <laughs> over year. Right. And what I do is um, here in Canada, it's a little bit different. So 
I just justify it as, hey, honey, I'm going to spend a bunch of money on video games now, and it's all tax write off. So it's it's not <laughs> and really all a, a business. Lie. What? And all a lie. No, it's not a lie. Like, well, the tax write off isn't going to be any significant benefit. To oh, no, 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 no. A hundred percent. No, <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> but I was going to buy the stuff anyways. Do you know what right, I mean? Right, <laughs> right. But you're writing it off against what? So I, I would say, uh, agree a hundred percent. Uh, YouTube is the biggest platform in the world. Uh, according to some numbers, it's bigger than Netflix. There's more streaming view time that's happening on YouTube than any other planet or any other service in the planet. And what's great about YouTube is individuals can be the contributors to the content. Knowing about my personal situation, uh, even when I had two channels that I was managing, the one of Weekly and Console Kits, which both were performing pretty relatively well at the time, there was no significant amount of money, or for me, there was no expenditure that would make any benefit on the tax side uh, to reduce my, you know, cost or, you know, how much I owe the government. But I know other people that spend a lot of money, like five times more the amount they make on YouTube, and then write those taxes off against their personal job. I, know, I would so. just like to say that here on the 19K Box channel, we are not giving uh, uh, tax advice. We're That's just right. sort of giving our opinions right uh and you do you Continue. right I, i'm i'm using that to illustrate that i think everyone has different opinions and everyone has different strategies and everyone has different goals and so there's some content creators that their goal is to make it a hobby their goal is to break even or lose money and there's other people that are that are using the youtube as a way to have a significant discount on their job but it requires them to spend twenty to fifty thousand dollars a year on their YouTube channel. No, so that's they can not offset how, that's, that they can that, offset how much they make on their main job. Yeah, that's not something you would do, Justin. I mean, you didn't spend like fifty thousand dollars in pinball this year. Oh, wait a minute, you did. It, <laughs> is that is that is that something you can? But see, I can't I can't write that off because it's not like I made fifty thousand dollars on YouTube, right? Well, see, it works differently. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, don't take tax advice from any of us. The closest person to being an accountant in this room is me, and I'm an idiot. Always talk to your personal accountant and make sure right. you can do it. Don't don't just go and think, oh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm going to talk to an actual tax professional and understand the who's in. I don't know. In Canada, we don't have LLCs or any of that set up. So I'm not really set up as a business, but I, I, I have to, um, I have to record my revenue I make from YouTube with my normal revenue. So but this is great. You can yeah. talk about it all you want, because if there's another content or content creator that comes out and says, listen, you guys are all idiots. I make $500,000 a year and I spend a hundred thousand dollars on YouTube that allows me to write off a significant amount. If he came out and said that, then you'd be like, wow, really? What I'd love you can to know, kind of say whatever you want. What I'd love to know is resident auditor, accountant, how do I get another cat bathroom? That's <gasps> the real question. Oh, that's, that's a, that's a serious question. Yes. You got to know. What do you, what do you, what are your thoughts on this whole topic thing? Should you, should it be a hobby? Should it be a business? How do you treat your personal channel? What do you think? Are you talking about me? Yeah. What would you like to share? Um, yeah, I did create an LLC for Kong Zero Us just in case, but I was, it wasn't just for YouTube because I was using the brand to do commissions and things. So there was a point in time where the side hobby of this created opportunities for other revenue um, that was near the threshold of having to report. Um, because then uh, there's a certain threshold where you have to like mandatorily get like a 1099 from, right. from if, they, if they're sending to you. But I never met any of those threshold things like PayPal, for example, right? They have like a minimum number of transactions you have to have plus this revenue and then PayPal would send you like what you have to report. I never met right. any of those thresholds. So ended up being part of the side hobby. And if you can do part of this hobby and it helps offset your hobby, I think that's probably the biggest benefit of doing this is that you get to continue talking about what you like. And sometimes the hobby helps cover some of your costs for it. And I think that's kind of like one of the best things you can do. But I have so, not uh, another cat bathroom. No. So, I, uh, 
<laughs> no cat bathroom. <laughs> Just really quickly, I, I'm going to side here because I, I want to do this guy a favor. Can you bring up the second last comment from the corner, Kate? <laughs> Once I, they get hired by one of us. Yeah, please really? bring it up. So I will tell you, yeah, Cornercade is obviously probably the biggest Arcade 1-Up fan right now. He really wants to do it. Arcade 1-Up, let this guy do your commentating and stuff like that. But I will warn you, you can give the community what it wants. Trust me, nobody can do that. And uh, th there's a reality here. Everybody thinks that we just have to tell Arcade 1-Up what to do. The only people telling Arcade 1-Up what to do are the retailers buying their product because that's Arcade 1-Up's Wait a consumer. Second. So he's Best Buy. But he works for Best Buy. So he is one of the retailers that can tell Arcade One Up. Yeah, that's, that's he doesn't need how to be works. hired by Arcade One Up. He already has the job. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, before we go was... any further, we have to acknowledge VP Dubs has joined the chat to join the, the panel. P Dubs, how the hell are you? What's going on? How do you treat your business? How do you think of your business? Is it a hobby? Is it a business? What do you think? Are you talking about YouTube? I'm yeah. talking about YouTube. <clears throat> I mean, it started as a hobby, then, it, uh, but with how much time and energy and passion you put into it, it kind of feels like a second job. Sometimes, and, yeah. And yeah. um, and then that's when you don't like it is when it feels like a job. I agree. But then mm. when you, but whenever I, mm. whenever I take breaks, and I go back and take time off and come back and you miss it. If it feels like a hobby again, you yeah. know what I mean? Just talking about cool shit. You know what I, I don't mean? know. So. A bad job is only when you have a bad boss that's telling you what to do or making you feel bad. Do you have a bad boss that's telling you bad stuff that makes you feel bad? It's like the Empire in Star Wars when you had the, the Emperor, algorithm. When you when you had when you had Darth Vader telling you what to do, everybody was miserable. But if someone else would just like take over the Empire, eh, it wouldn't be bad. It'd be fine. You know, you could just do your own thing. It's the algorithm bringing you down. I think so. If the algorithm was good instead of evil, it wouldn't be so bad. All right, we're one minute away from East Coast New Year's. All right, less we're than one, one minute away. Uh, one minute away, one everybody. One minute and counting. Yeah, East I, Coast. Can... The real New Year starts now. Sorry, you Michael. Son of a bitch. It, I, I had to just say. Well, we have like a America is the only say. one that. Yeah, say. It's the only one that matters. It's the only one that counts. East Coast. All the New Yorkers are going to be happy because within just a just a few seconds, we're on the precipice of a new year. Hopefully, a better year for our hobby, for multiple companies coming in and just kicking ass and taking names and giving us all the kind of cool stuff we want. And what better way to start that or actually end this current year is with a super chat. This is another one from Zohar V499. Question for the panel. Do you think Corner Cage should do marketing or at least the very Ten least? Ten. Liaison. Nine. Share the screen. Eight. Seven, six. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is that? Well, oh wait, no. That's the a timer's a little thing. different. It's, it, 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 oh wait, dude, we, here we go. Wait, aren't that's they gonna? Me. Aren't they gonna shut us down if we share this? Six, five, six, five, five four, 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 three, three, three two, two, one. one. Happy yeah. New Year! Yeah. All right. yeah, good. Yeah, Woo. yeah. 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 take that off before they shut us down, yeah, we're man. Still we're still live. We're still live. So, so happy New Year, everybody. Uh, oh, it doesn't count for B because technically, gotta, uh, you're there's not people there yet. making out now. It's well, that's great. There's people that's making awesome. out. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, on yes. that stream that Absolutely. we just closed, it just yeah. showed a whole bunch of people. Making out. Lee, you is, guys are leaving so much Butterfly? money on the table. You could be over on OnlyFans right now. You'd be rich. That rich, is. you'd have all the pinball tables you wanted. Or Twitch, yeah, wild, you could be doing yeah, it on your wildest Twitch. streams. I so back, I, I guess, I guess back to the uh, <laughs> Mike. You were kind of leading so. with this. What do you think about this question? Do you? Yeah. Think uh, well, listen. Uh, I think that Corner Kate is very passionate. Uh, he obviously oh, yeah. loves the product a lot. And maybe he would be a good influencer for him. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, put him in now because before he becomes all jaded and grumpy like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Get him while he still has a, a smile him, on his face. Get him while yeah. he's smiling. Get him well, while he's happy. Let me, let me ask you a question. Who are all the people that have worked for Arcade One Up as a YouTube liaison? Travis, <laughs> that's it. There's a mountain of bodies. Uh, did that's you and Ralph true. work there? Like, did you have a working relationship when you were doing One Up Weekly with them? I mean, I don't know. Like, it depends on your definition. Like, um, I mean, I, I would say that 
according to some people's definition, if you make one YouTube video about Arcade One Up, you work for them. Well, uh, I've been. I've been <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is that... <laughs> I, I've been a. I've been accused of working for them, and uh, I would say be your volunteer coordinator. I didn't get compensated for it, but I volunteered for them. I've done streams for them. So I guess that's working for them in a volunteer capacity. <laughs> well, I was just thinking about this way, like not saying anything negative about Cornercade, but it's, it kind of feels like what's going to happen is Cornercade will get hired. He'll take over Travis's job. And about six months later, it'll be somebody else. And then six months later, it's going to be someone else. And it kind of feels like who's the bad person in that? It's Arcade One Up. Like they're just like, there's certain companies, and I think you guys know these companies that do this right like they'll literally hire someone for a position and then they'll just replace that person six months later with another person because what they really want is the benefit of that early person that's excited and passionate and then they realize they're not able blind to... loyalty yes right and then they just redo it well, no, but the reality so... with arcade one up is that they don't have anybody at the company that that really is in charge of the like the social media presence at this level with YouTube, right? They never really had a, a real coordinator. John D played that role because he was a fan of YouTube and was addicted to YouTube. Right, right. And so he would have a relationship with YouTubers, but that wasn't his official role at the company. We knew he was a, a licensed guy, but he was able to influence and work with other folks to do that. Um, and so it just never quite, it, it worked out not in, I, I guess, in an official capacity. And so the, I think now if Corkade, if Corkade wanted to do that, if Cyrus is the closest thing to that, no, Travis is that. Funny. Travis has well, Travis, a job yes, with Arcade One Travis Up doing is now that. being paid to do this yes. community thing. So it's it's officially working through Travis to do that. <laughs> Even Travis's role didn't exist. He kind of created that role, and that's what he's getting paid to do is to be that community liaison. And I, but I don't know. And and Travis never disclosed to you and I like officially like what his formal role is because he was doing one update and doing things with the company with the beta program, but he was mm -hmm. doing that all on his own is almost like a hey here's what i can do for the company and bring some community stuff but i i, I truly don't know what his official title is right and what he's doing but he's the closest no thing idea. now that well i guess you could say john d was yeah. liaison with content creators i don't i don't know what he i don't know you know how everybody else feels i'm only gonna speak for myself i think whatever they're you're paying him rk one up it's too much thank you so much for your super chat buddy here you go Finish him. Hashtag free. MP4. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> did you just say whatever you're paying Travis, you're paying him too much? Yes, exactly. And this takes us to another super chat. This one is ten dollars okay. for the Gilk man, <laughs> Thomas Gilkey. Thank you so much for always tonight. being here uh, and supporting the channel, man. This is this is a friend from a long way back. Always supported the channel. Keep being amazing. Much love. Happy New Year. Right. Thank you so much, the Gilk man. Good to see you, buddy. I'm glad to see you're still doing well. Here you go. Uh, I can, I can share a little bit about my experience and B, you can jump in on this. Cause we've recently done this. Like we talked with our cable one up after John left and they gave us this speech about how they wanted to be different and stuff like that. John left. <laughs> Thanks you to didn't Justin. Know? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all my fault. Let's talk yeah. about that. No, 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 no. Not. Just really quick. But, uh, just a heads up to corner Kate or anybody else that does this stuff. Like you go in there with the best of intentions. You're like, I'm going to, I'm going to do things like they're going to be more community minded and uh, you try your best, but there's just, there's limitations there, man. There's certain things they can't say. They can't talk about that people want to hear certain things you want to ask them that you can't ask them. And like, kind of sucks. Like, honestly, uh, one of my big critiques on one update when Travis was doing it was a little bit of brand identity and forgetting what that show was about. And you go into it and you say, yeah, I'll do your streams for you. But they keep doing the same thing. It's one update should just be updates on products and information. Yes. But they keep trying to make it about marketing and doing these tie-ins with events and stuff like that. I found that uh, really frustrating personally. And I know um, B, uh, like you came in and you were really excited about doing activations. 
And it's just, they didn't do any activations. And it wasn't because it was expensive or time consuming. I mean, God, you were willing to volunteer and work out stuff with different people in the community being at places. And it's just like, they just didn't have time or they couldn't grasp their mind around the concept. So believe me, as much as you want to help uh, Danny, I, I will give you advice. Uh, good luck to you. But at the same time, it's going to be really hard to help because um, just it's it's a machine and uh, it, it's it's <laughs> it's Here's the question to ask yourself, um, Corner Cade, because the question that came up for Mike and I, Mike was was always like, I'm not going to accept any like money exactly but it's like what is what are you looking for in terms of compensation you're saying like you want to work for one up are you looking for like a a like paid product are you looking for like a, a fee per show or a thing that you do for them like these are things that they don't have a job for hey we're gonna do a salary for this thing it's like a you tell us what you want thing and we'll see if we can give it to you essentially and i, I think travis had to even pitch kind of what his compensation level was and the same thing for me it was like hey let us know what you think you might want and like i thought about it, i was like what is my time worth what is the value of this relationship worth and so you'd really have to think about like saying that i work for one up uh what that comes with and then what is it worth in the long run um so so think about those things and to what mike was saying I had a had a, uh, a an opportunity to chat with Davin, who's currently CTO and helping run a lot of the things. Uh, and I thought I gave at least some some short, simple things that I thought would make a difference. Would be uh, here's the things that are going to grow community sentiment. And I keep saying this to everybody: it's when you make announcements about products, people are excited. When you do sales, that's freaking is awesome. And when you do events and activations, like those three things, if you kept doing those consistently in some regular form or fashion. People would love and keep this ride in this positive wave, but there's just too much lull in between when those things happen. And when they do happen, they all happen at the same time and they overlap each other. <laughs> I love you, Danny, but you're a lunatic. I don't think you're listening. What are you saying? <laughs> I, I can bring it back. <laughs> I'm bringing it back, man. I'm bringing it back. You are you going to go to Walmart and convince the 20 year olds that think that all these cabs suck that they need to bring out a Qbert? Good luck. <laughs> well, speaking it's of misguided, it's hold on. It's not just that though. It's yeah. the numbers. So Walmart is probably the reason why they're not rebuying and not putting them into the five thousand stores that are in the U.S. is because they had to like lose money on some like on some of their machines that they came out with in 2022, 2023. So you have an uphill battle all, already. Like maybe Danny could do it. Like maybe he, he's capable of being CEO of the company. I want to say one last thing about. <laughs> Danny, while I have, I think he you don't need any be. education or experience. No. Like he could just fucking do it. I'm man. just trying like, to say if he, anyone is capable of rising to an occasion. So I don't, I don't want to. It's possible he could do amazing things, but I will say he probably should be in the position of running, probably replacing Travis. And I'll tell you why. The dude doesn't care. Like this, yeah. this audience, the people that are in this chat that dislike content creators having to associate with arcade one up will beat him to shreds. And yeah. then there's another set of content creators that will make tons of contents, making negative things about Danny. You know what? He Among doesn't... all the content creators that I know, Danny's the one that won't care the most. He'll be like, let's go guys. So he probably should. Let's go. Speaking of let's go, let's go to another super chat. This is four ninety nine from Game Room Guru. Another one. Thank you so much for your four ninety nine super chat. If at, at Corner K worked for one up, wait, he would wait. be labeled King right. of the Shills. Not All right. worth look, it. Look, look, look. We got to get off this Corner K topic. I mean, but pull up the last comment here. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's finish. Let me, let me blow up his uh, his comment, and then we'll go to the next one. Go ahead. Okay, what are you talking pull, pull about? Up, I mean, we got to get off this corner cade topic, but real quick, Danny, we we all love you. We appreciate corner cade's the, the new Zohar that, that you're hype. But pull up the because we need to be in charge. Right here shows me that you have no idea what you're doing. No offense, man. 
It's their show. No offense, but you're an idiot. <laughs> no offense. I don't think that's exactly what he said. For, for, for instance, said. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, we're not, we're not going to insult I, the audience. Yeah. I didn't call. I didn't call him an idiot. Just yeah, I know. I know. You're right. No, but, you're right. But you just said other words that mean the same thing. It shows right. you don't. Get, so, for instance, let me give you an example. You know who did this really well with Zen Studios with the pinball show, which unfortunately I believe the pinball show is no more because Zen had to do those layoffs and stuff, right? Like oh, now is they it have really shut down. Yeah. Well, they've they've changed it to where it's like pinball bites and it's actual uh yeah. Zen Studios and Oh no, they've been doing yeah, and they're now building like cell phones, all that yeah. stuff, right? Right, right. But that's it. Like the pinball show you notice has been gone ever since they did the <laughs> layoffs. But let me finish. So for instance, the two people they had hosting that show were pretty much hired social media personalities. The the young man and the and yeah. the younger girl. Right, right. They were hired personalities reading off of a teleprompter. That would basically be like the one update show for you, Danny. They are doing what the company is allowing them to do. And for you yeah. to say, hey, they got to give us full control of what we want to say and release. That's not how it works, man. That's not how it's going to work. It's their product, their company, <laughs> their brand, their show. And they're not going to let some guy <laughs> just <laughs> say and do what he wants. No offense. So I appreciate the enthusiasm. I love the excitement. Yeah. I've always enjoyed Danny's excitement, but take a breath, brother. Take a breath. That's all I got to say. Uh, I, listen, <laughs> Danny, we all want that, but uh, I mean, honestly, um, I don't think it's going to happen, man. Uh, that's nothing against you. Um, just it's not that company anymore. They're not. They're, maybe in 2019 they were. No, that company, they, they were never going to be that company because yeah. honestly, Eric came one up. Yeah. Um, they want to do right by the community, but like they're so limited, like their rigid corporate structure prevents them from doing anything they really want to do. Like everything they do is uh, be beholding to the retailers. They work for the retailers, basically. Well, zero cool. We have about five hours of content we got to fill tonight, man. So absolutely, we, buddy. That, that is get, true. We gave Danny his twenty minutes. Hey, I'm, can we? Do you no, want wait, to talk wait, about wait. an actual I, arcade product? I, I want to. I, can I say one more thing? Depends on what you want. Because sure. I think ahead, to tie it, tie a bow on it. Here's the challenge, guys. All right. So Danny says, "Let's let's bring Sega Star Wars trilogy." Okay. That's We're awesome gonna go idea. through a quick exercise. B B. You're uh, the product runner for this project, right? Okay. So we need to build an emulator for the Sega Star Wars. Okay. It needs to be a commercial world that a commercial emulator that is supported by a company. And I want you to go talk to that company and get that deal. Okay. But here's the deal. You can't pay them anything. You have a budget of zero emulator that exists. Yeah, you have a budget of zero and you need to go hire a vendor that will support a product for five years. Your budget is zero. Go. How are you going to solve that problem? Please. Yeah, B, 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 B. <laughs> that's B. that's the secret weapon right there. Side, that's, side, yeah. side note, okay. side note. B, uh, let them know if they're looking for payment. We will let them keep the prototype cabinets that they developed Ooh, the technology. Easy on. now. <laughs> promises, promises. Yeah. I, I don't know about I don't know about you guys. I, I'm excited about all the new things that will be coming this year. But the one yeah. thing that is not new is a super chat from <laughs> Galaga Guy88. Thank you so much for yeah. your 499 super chat. I really do appreciate it. And he wanted to tell us. Thank you all and welcome to okay. 2024. Thank you so much, buddy. Here you go. Fatality. Continue on. I love that fatality, by the way. Uh, you got another super chat, but I do want to address Paul's question because I didn't want to talk about this earlier. Yes. And you guys aren't going to like what I have to say about it. Of uh -oh. course. You don't, you don't know that. We could anymore. love it. We no, no, you won't like what I have to say. This one? Yeah, so um, a, a lot of YouTubers have been making these, like, really attention-grabbing drama videos. Like, there's this one guy that did, like, 47 days of streaming, and he talked about Arcade 1-Up being done. I know P-Dubs is talking about it. <laughs> you're, you're assuming that Arcade 1-Up wasn't mm -hmm. profitable last year. Here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to be very clear about this. Arcade 1-Up is going to continue to do what they did last year, probably again next year. And they're going to be profitable. The problem is it's going to be dead to a lot of people because they're not going to do anything. That's going to interest a lot of people. What they did last year wasn't interesting to a lot of people The really like, uh, if you go back and look at it, the one thing that they really did that interested a lot of people that seemed to hit the Merc was Pac-Man XL. 
everything else was, you know, kind of a miss, kind of a hit. The deluxe cabs were great, but everybody's kind of tired of buying the same cabs over again. It was great for the new people, but you know what? That's, that's a low cost alternative for them. They make the deluxe cabs. They can pump them out to Walmart, pump them out to the retailers, make a bunch of money. So RK one up is probably still going to be around. What's going to die is a lot of people in this community's interest because you're not going to get what you want. I agree, Michael B. Arcade one up is dead <laughs> by, March. Nice. <laughs> by March. I agree. By March, they're gone. I think the party's over. They can't just coast. They're I think have they to put in some good real work. You might some according to some measurements, they died when Scott B and John D were no longer with the company because they were the Scott B was a founder. Then you got uh, what was the other company that helped found Arcade One Up? What are they called? Tastemakers. Tastemakers. Taste, no, no, no. So Tastemakers, Scott B owned, right? Yeah. And then the other company that was like the uh, design company. Think up. Think up. Think up. Think They're up. gone, yeah. right? Am I correct? They're gone. I don't know. That's what I heard. I heard Think, think up, up gone? is gone. Mm. So the, the so they're not building anything. From my understanding, and I hope I'm wrong, and I hope in 2024 they do surprises at CES and they unveil something brand new, a brand new license, like a perfectly designed Sega star Wars. But according to what I've heard, the company's already dead because the founders are gone. They're not building anything new. The innovators that were within the company that were getting the licenses, mm -hmm. building the design for the new machines and running the company are no longer there. It's ran by the company now that they got a loan from, and they didn't come through on that loan, so that company took over Arcade One Up, and now they're just saying, "What do we have to sell? Oh, we have deluxe machines. We have that XL that was already built by the time we took over the company. So we're just going to rinse and repeat, and we're not investing any more money, and we're just going to try to capitalize on the licenses that we already have mm -hmm. and the designs that we've already created. And that's why they let everyone go. I think Aren't I think you companies? increase sales, you cut prices to increase sales, you sell the private equity." And you're done. I mean, I, I, that's probably the goal of the company, right? Just to get sold and that's it. Yeah. And what we can hope so, is yeah. the manufacturer did design Excel cabinets for already <laughs> for, for yeah, but, like Street what, Fighter. What, what, and... you're, what you're saying is two different things. Like you can be bought out and your product line continues. So are you talking about sure. it being a separate company or the product line dying? Let, let's be clear here. Well, I, I think both are happening. It, there is no evidence currently that Product development takes some time. Time Crisis and the Pac-Man XL Two, were developed. Years. No, no, developed XL yeah. yeah, but they were developed while John D and and uh, Scott B was with the company. We haven't seen anything new that has been built by the new company that <laughs> took over, right? And so yeah. there's still, and then CES, they're like, we're not even gonna be there. We have nothing new to show you. So the big question is, and this is this is the uh, what is it called? Schrodinger's box. Like we haven't opened it yet. We don't know if they're alive or dead yet. You know, but if all of a sudden it's like unveiling, we got Sega Star Wars or we got the new license, we got the new machine. You didn't even know the investor. That's why we saved money on marketing, because we put it all in a new design on a new Roth real partnership. Or next year, we're going to get rehashes of exactly the same machines we already got last year. No, you won't get exactly the same machines you got last year. I think there's a lot more rehashes coming in Deluxe. That's my guess. It's sad. <laughs> it's sad for sure. But you know what's not sad is another super chat from Zohar V499. Sad thing is it doesn't matter. It won't matter. One up will be done by 2024 anyway. Let me blow this guy up and let's talk about that for just one second. Here you go. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be done within 2024 time frame. I think they will. I think they'll continue on. The question that I asked my audience was, what do you think their chances are of surviving beyond 2025? I'm curious what you guys think about that. They're going to get killed. Uh, they're going to get destroyed uh, by this brand new product that was just announced. Uh, Fox, when you're ready to share my screen, you can hit the button. Don't hit it. Just you know yet. what? I don't know if our audience is quite ready. I don't know this. if you guys saw I think, this let's reveal, just let's just hit it let's just hit it. here we go the death knell of rk oh one up is the visco mini 
arcade bar Purchase top. Purchase now. Available now <laughs> through Utico. $200.com. Get it. I, what are you waiting for? I really <laughs> I, arcade one up can't compete with this. <laughs> I, I really like what Unico's doing with the Nova Blast. I think that was the right path to go. Oh, Jay Mason was in the chat earlier today. This is a Unico show channel, isn't it? Yeah. So absolutely I really absolutely it is. I really absolutely. like I really like what they're doing with the Nova Blast. I can thought, we all acknowledge Mrs. Kong's arrest for a moment? Oh my god, how do you do that so fast? I just got this for her for my Venom review. Thank you for that's incredible. Whoops. You know, I actually said did, I actually I actually wanted to have a serious conversation about the Visco, but that's fine. let's talk no, about. No, I want to continue. Wait, no, no, no. We'll wait till hour four. We'll wait till hour four. We'll talk about, about it. We'll give Absolutely. someone for those of you that are laying in bed right now. Hit one if you got earbuds in and you're listening and watching every now and then. And while you're two, one, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. And while you're hitting one and hitting two, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this super chat right here for four ninety nine. Brian PH 49. Thank you so much for your super chat. Happy new year to this amazing group of friends. Love your passion for gaming yeah. and sharing your personal thoughts with the yeah. community. Keep up the great work guys. That is incredibly encouraging. Thank you so much for your super chat. Here you go. Play that for Chun Li, who's not currently on the panel. I was unprepared. I apologize. I have some. I have some feedback on that super chat. Um, Do it. Can you, put, can you put that super chat back up? Right here. What is the What is the most important part of this super chat, guys? The four ninety nine. Sharing your personal thoughts. <laughs> Great work. Great. Great. Justin, what is the most important part of this Passion. super chat? Her amazing group of friends. The most important part is that Brian PH took time out of his day to send an amazing message to a group of there people. He decided to attach well, four ninety nine to it. That will act as a really great well, tax write off for nineteen K Fox. It's 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 nice to know that the only one on the same wavelength as me is B Kong. Group of friends is key. We've been covering this hobby for many years, most of us, and there's a lot of new people coming in. There's people leaving, come and going. It's always a revolving door <laughs> in this hobby. But the fact that what people don't realize is we have all become a pretty tight knit group of friends. This hobby brought us together, brought us together with you viewers out there. And that's what makes this really special to us. And all these, these accusations of secret cults and bullshit, like, I just want you to know, guys, like only 10% of our time is dedicated to deciding the future of companies, products, and <laughs> what you guys are going to spend your money on. Visco Mini? Right. Visco Mini? <laughs> like we had a Visco Mini vote before we went live tonight. Are we going to push this product or are we going to? We decided we gonna, no. No, we decided no. We're going to. We're going to. Yeah. Push. We're going to turn wow. down the Visco Mini. Remember, um, not everyone understands yep. sarcasm. So, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna turn down. We're not. We're not gonna push the Visco Mini. We're the Unico Nova Blast. We're we're gonna push that one. Uh, but just so but you guys we have know, no business talking about it. But we're still yeah, gonna push. But, it. But, I, we don't have any business talking but, about it. But we are just so you know, I just want you guys to know we only spend ten percent of our time making those kind of decisions that impact your lives. The other ninety percent of the time, we're just a group of friends hanging out on YouTube. And, but but to be fair, we are trendsetters. <laughs> and and okay. to further to further illustrate this point is a super chat for nine ninety nine. So far, this is the best stream of twenty twenty four. Hell yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! Michelin doesn't even. You know, I, I'll yeah. tell you. I remember last night. Last night, just last night, we were all on a stream in a private message group called the Illuminati chat. <laughs> and we had about a three hour live stream three without hours. an audience. And three we hours. decided, and the, very we end, decided we said, the future of two products, one new company and three <laughs> content creators all in a three oh. hour. Luckily, as you guys know, B took the meeting notes because I'm not going to remember a damn thing by tomorrow. B, Thank B God is the secretary B. of the Illuminati. And speaking of B, he's, he's going to following give you Robert's you... rules too. Yes. And speaking okay. of B, he's going to give you what you deserve. Speaking... By the way, thanks for supporting Fox. Real quick, guys, when we hit hour number four, make sure you have a roll of Reynolds wrap ready because we oh, are going to make gonna tin. Be... 
Cool. We are all going to make tin foil hats together during hour number four. This is make sure you guys come back. You guys are still yes. hanging out in hour five, right? Is that still going to oh, happen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hour starts, five is the it, pinnacle. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's but, all leading to. It's, so, it's the pinnacle. I'm letting you guys Get know it? now. All, I, I'm giving you guys, we have a, an hour and a half before we hit right. hour number four. And when we hit hour number four, we are going to blow shit up. You're with all kinds know. of we are going to yeah. do tin foil hat making together guys so oh, for god's sakes get your reynolds wrap ready mini. <laughs> let's get into visco mini right visco now mini. it's yes. incredible yes uh, when when this product came out uh, i made a video on it and i talked about it and i said geez it seems like unico are grasping at straws like who even knows what visco is i mean it's pretty obscure they did make arcade machines they're uh relatively Aren't... snk type brand I was surprised that they still came out with it. I don't know if there's going to be much interest in this. This is a really super niche product. Let's be honest. The M Neo Geo is a niche product. Visco, that's a super niche product. Isn't Visco like a, it's something you, an ingredient you put in a recipe? That's Maybe. Maybe. That's <laughs> that's Crisco. Crisco. You're thinking that's of Bisquick. Oil brand. Completely different. Yes. Oh. No, that's Crisco. So, Sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, Visco Visco is a really um, niche product. Like, uh, if people want it, cool. I think Neo Severo will buy one. Uh, but uh, I, I I don't know if there's can much I, of a market for this. So we'll see. Can, I don't think I they're gonna you, have a lot of stock problems. Can I tell you what I like about it? Is if you go back to like where we can get a good shot of the full size cabinet, is this looks to me that it's running the same kind of front end as the MVSX. So I'm wondering, can we do a high-low hack on this thing? Because this has got the per perfect button layout for those SNK games. When I see this thing, the only thing I see is modding potential. That's all I say. Like, this could be a cool little, like, throw some big red artwork on it. Your little mini countertop SNK. It's like your mini MVSX. You know what I mean? That's what I see when I see this thing. Like, if I bought this thing, I would buy it only to change it into a mini MVSX. Yeah, how big's that screen? That is so next level. Yeah. How big's the screen? <laughs> uh eight I inch. think it's yeah, eight inch, same size so Fox, as the arcade. Is that one the up same counter. as okay, yep. same as the arcade one up? So same what's it, one up is, yep. right now the arcade one up countercade, right? we only get that many controller buttons when it's a two player. But honestly, I don't know, man. Maybe Fox, you disagree, but like I just kind of wish those two player machines were one player. Like why they not? Should be. They should just be one player. No. This is, this is the perfect form factor. You have a single player experience, but you have a USB port on the side to accommodate a second player if you want it. But eight inch screen, you're not going to have a lot of two player action going on realistically. This is what RK1 up should have yes, done. Yes, you will awesome. with eight inches. Well, eight <laughs> inches makes a hell of a difference. Some people really appreciate that extra length. But uh, I don't know. Size. Is, is four buttons, wouldn't you rather have six buttons though? Three oh, and no. three. Not, not, not for Neo Geo. Yeah. Yeah, but if you wanted to play anything else besides Neo Geo. Well, that's the problem. If you want to go ahead and do a high-low hack, this isn't going to work for you because you need those six buttons for Capcom games. That so it kind of feels like you would just only hack. put four-button games on it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But that, I mean, that's still a lot. That's still a lot of... It's a good catalog. I mean, Neo Geo has, what, 100 games out there? It could a work. Lot. More, more, more than... More than... 50 i think uh are we are we getting ready to go to our next host oh minute? yeah i think i think we're gonna have to wrap it up here in just a minute because wrap we're gonna it have up, to go to the we're gonna have to wrap it up and slide on over to the the console kits we'll be starting his stream up in just a few minutes but before we go we got to say something to one of the greatest contributors of all of our streams and it is ezekiel the chicago rachel ranger the maker of the hats and the hoodies and a big supporter of all of our channels. Happy new year. You sons of guns. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for always being there. As many of our audience members are supporting us constantly. It really keeps us motivated to keep going, buddy. Mm. Thank you so much for being here. Let Don't me give forget, you something. To... There's one more. Sandman one. What? There, is, there, there is one more, but before That's we one. go, we got to give Ezekiel something a little bit special. Here you go. All right, Justin. Shirts versus skins. Let's go. Guys. <laughs> the dedication is incredible. Much like the dedication of JT Brunick with another Super Chat 499. The content guys always here for the laughs. Thank you so much for your Super Chat, buddy. And uh, here you go. 
Thanks for the super chat. Got to represent Carl wherever we can. And we're going to go ahead and let this guy round it out. What do we decide, Mike? S S one and S one. He wants to be called. He wrote it in my okay. chat. S one. S one and man. No, he just wants to be called S one. S one. S one. S one. Uh, P Dubs might own the only well played pinball. <laughs> I don't own it anymore. I I bought it. Cool toy <laughs> has the only well played pinball machine. I oh, bought it. <laughs> I reviewed go. it. I said it was a piece of shit, <laughs> and then I sold it. <laughs> you um, freaking chill. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. dare you? Thank you so much for yeah. your super chat, buddy. And uh, let me give you something yeah. unique, something we haven't played yet. Here you go. Let's go. <laughs> Rookie. Rookie. Hey everybody, you're going to be redirected to console kits right now. But before we go, we have to address the question, the poll question. That's right. Every week we have a poll question. This one was maybe the most important question of all time. The question was simply this 141 votes. Thank you so much for voting. Shilling ain't easy. So what's easier? You had four options tying your shoes, whistling, <laughs> playing the quiet game, or learning. Pig Latin coming in at number one. We're not even going to dispense with all the places coming in at number one. It's no surprise. It's playing the quiet game wins the game. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. We're going to go ahead and get the hell out of here and head on over to this guy's stream right now. Peace.